Hello everyone, in this tutorial today we shall be learning two simple methods of inserting watermark in Microsoft Excel worksheet. First, you open up the worksheet you want to insert the watermark. You go to layout tab, you click on it to open it up. As it opens up, you go to background, click on it. If the picture you want to use is online, you click here. If you want to select picture from your device, which is your computer, you click offline. And since the picture that I want to use is in my device, I click offline. This will open up a folder for me in my device. Then I will select the folder where I save the picture I want to use as my watermark. I scroll down to locate it. Once I've seen it, I click on it and click on insert. This will automatically insert the picture into the worksheet as a watermark. When you scroll to the next page and the next, you will notice that it has automatically inserted the watermark in all the pages within the worksheet it did not give us option of adjusting the watermark to remove this watermark i click on delete background and it automatically remove it from the worksheet so the second method is click on insert go to shapes select any shape you want to use as your watermark in this tutorial, I'm going to use a rectangle. I'll draw a rectangle on the worksheet. I click on the rectangle that I've drawn. Click on format shape. It will open up a pin. I will make sure that I am on this very one. Click fill. Then I select picture or texture fill. Click on file. This will take me to my computer to select the picture that I want to use as my watermark. I scroll to locate the picture, click on the picture, and click on insert. It has inserted the picture into my Excel worksheet. I position the picture where I want it, then I can adjust the size of the picture. From this transparency, it's in 0%. The more I move it up, the more I send the picture to the background as a watermark. You can use any percentage you want. We can use between 55 to 65%. So I leave this one on 56%. I go to Format tab, click on Shape Outline, and select No Outline. Since I have more than one page, in this worksheet, I click on the watermark that I just created, right click, copy. You can use Ctrl plus C to copy. Then I go to the next page, I click and paste it. You can use Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I position it where I want it to be. Then I go to the last page, click, then I paste as well. Then I position it. Where I want it to be. So, having done this, let's see the preview of how the watermark will be when printed out. So, I click on File, go to Print. So, we have our print preview here. So, we have come to the end of this short tutorial today. Hope you get some value from this tutorial. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon so youtube will notify you once i drop a new video do share this video with family and friends have a wonderful day